The Linux terminal is incredibly useful to augment your workflow on Linux, however it has a bit of a reputation for being a scary black box of death. And while its use is certainly not as frequent as some people might say, it does crop up every now and again, so you might have wondered if there's a way to make it more visually appealing like the rest of the desktop. Luckily for you, I'm going to show you an easy way to do just that. Before we begin, it was brought to my attention in the comments under my previous video that my desktop is now lacking an alcoholic. I always pay attention to the opinions of my commenters, so I will be fixing that later. The first thing we're going to do is install a new font, but not just any font. It has to come from nerdfonts.com, and you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, once you're there, you can pick any font, but I'll go with this one. Now grab that zip file and shove it into .local slash share slash fonts, and then unzip it and let it explode all over the place. Wait, could I have just placed it here? Next, you're going to open the terminal itself. Now, if you don't have a settings tab somewhere up here, then you'll probably need to add a global menu, assuming you use KDE. If not, don't worry, you can still do all this stuff if you install console, or if you're willing to figure out the equivalent steps for whatever your terminal emulator of choice is. Anyway, moving on. Open console settings, and then create a new profile. I already have one. And click edit. You can also just edit the default profile, but I like to create a brand new one, just to be safe. Now under the appearance tab, next to the font, click choose, and look for your font of choice. Mine is Hermit Nerd Font Mono. Next, I'm going to choose a new colour scheme. I'll go with Dracula. This will also go well with what we'll do later on. This already looks a bit better, but we're not done yet. Next, we use the terminal to install Starship. Starship is a cross-platform terminal thing that allows you to customise the look and feel of your terminal. Run this command to run the installer from Starship's website, and then this one to add Starship to your bash configuration file so that it runs by default. So now we need to create a theme for Starship to use. You can do this from scratch, but I think it's much easier to grab an existing theme and tweak that. So we'll go to their website and click get started. As you can see, it reminds you to use a nerd font. This is because most Starship presets use a bunch of symbols that are only available in these font packs. Anyway, we've done all this, so scroll down and click presets. Now there's a bunch of ready-made presets down here for you to choose from, but as I said before, we'll be doing some tweaking on one of them. This one looks alright, we just need to run this command, and there it is. That, uh, why, why didn't that work? Wait, what if I close and reopen? Oh, here we go. Now, to modify this, we go into the .config folder and scroll down to starship.toml. Once you open it, you should see a recipe for what you have on your terminal. Here's the first symbol, the reason you need nerd fonts, and the style it's set to. Since it's a symbol, you can only really set the colour. Then, these things, marked with dollar signs, are variables that you can find the definition of down here. Before I start messing with this, I need to grab the Dracula colour palette from the official website. Then, I can copy the palette from this file and shove it into the Starship file. Replacing the standard colour palette provides with this preset. Since I already quite like its layout, I'll mostly just be modifying its colours. Just set this to cyan. At this point, my microplastic rich brain kept getting confused as to which colour should be in the foreground and which is in the background, which wasn't helped by the fact that Dracula has two colours called foreground and background, but I eventually got it working. I also made sure to replace all the variable colours with ones from the new palette. Finally, I disabled the line break and the symbol, and here's the result. But we're not done yet. You may remember that I promised to add a new alcoholic to my desktop. It was suggested to me that I use this one. And since this is a video about the terminal, that's where she'll be going. What you're going to do is install NeoFetch if you haven't already. Then open its config folder. Here we'll create a new empty text file. Next, we'll go to this website to convert our image to braille art. After messing with some settings and giving the subject a haircut, I ended up with this, which will fit if I make the terminal a bit bigger by default. You'll need to uncheck, I forgot where it is, oh, this box, or the resizing won't work. Now we open Open the NeoFetch config file and replace the image source with a path to our text file. Make extra sure there are no spaces whatsoever here because it doesn't like that for some reason. And there we go. The best part is that your Starship configuration can be used on most systems, including Windows and Mac, so enjoy flexing on your friends. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe because I'm definitely not a lizard and I know your PIN number.